Hi, I'm Brian Coyne, the Division Chaplain for the 82nd Airborne Division. And I'm standing here with what remains of Camp Claiborne, Louisiana. And right behind me at the post flagpole here on May 7, 1942, General Omar Bradley, the commander of then the 82nd Infantry Division, assembled the entire division behind me. And he brought in Sergeant Alvin York. Now, Sergeant Alvin York was the most decorated American soldier in World War I. He served with the 82nd Division. He earned the Medal of Honor in the Meuse Argonne Campaign as he led a patrol in capturing machine guns and 132 prisoners and displaying tremendous heroics. Now, at the, on the eve of World War II, Sergeant York attempted to re-enlist in the Army. Now, he was a little too old and a little too broken and uh, the Army respectfully declined. But General Bradley asked him to come and travel down here from Tennessee to Camp Claiborne, Louisiana to talk to this new division that had only been around for three months at that time. And what he asked Sergeant York to talk about was the legacy of this division. It's not your creed or your high, nor the color of your eyes that makes an American. It's our freedom and equality over the Constitution and our Bill of Rights that makes an American an almighty fighter. We doughboys didn't realize then, and some of the men in the higher places didn't realize that freedom is not a thing you can win once and for all. We never owned freedom. We only got a lease on it. And these soldiers walked away knowing that they were part of a great team and that they were continuing on an amazing legacy that was epitomized by Sergeant Alvin York. And it's the same legacy that has been added to during World War II and Vietnam and the conflict since then, and that we continue to live this day. That is our legacy, and it is up to each and every one of us paratroopers to live it out today and in the future.